George Michael's family and friends were left hurt after his ex-partner Kenny Goss exposed the singer's secrets. George's close friend Shirley Kemp lashed out at Kenny for selling hurtful stories about the late star's drug-taking and sex life. The former Wham! backing singer said, It's been a very sad week and so hurtful for George Michael's family, friends and fans, he would appreciate, all that matters is his music. She also liked a series of tweets from fans which read, I'm shocked he gave interviews. George Michael's loved ones have been through enough. One raged about the publication Kenny spoke to and added that George had loved to watch this morning, which also featured an interview with Kenny. Shirley rose to fame alongside George as part of Wham! in the 1980s, and the singer introduced her to her husband, Spandau Ballet's Martin Kemp. George died aged 53 at his home in Goring on Thames on Christmas Day, suffering from heart and liver disease. Kenny, who dated the star for 13 years until they split in 2011, was invited to George's intimate funeral, as well as a private wake at the Freedom Singers Highgate home afterwards. In interviews, for which Kenny, 58, was given £100,000 for the Goss Michael Foundation he set up with George. He spoke candidly about the singer's funeral. He described how George's sister Melanie had gushed about his relationship with the late star in her eulogy. Kenny said, Melanie stood up and said some amazing things about myself and other guests. She talked about how in love George was with me and how excited he was to meet me. He described the beautiful wooden casket George was laid to rest in and even detailed how George's father was too upset to speak at the ceremony. He added of the star's wake, Melanie prepared a lovely tea. George's family have not spoken publicly since he passed away. Shirley, 55, gave a touching tribute to the star at the Brit Awards alongside fellow Wham! members Andrew Rigelli and Pepsi Dimmock. Speaking about George's drug use, he said, I would find drugs and flush everything down the toilet, thinking, if I just get rid of it he won't get more. He was absent-minded, so would just think he'd lost them. Speaking about George being caught cruising on London's Hampstead Heath in 2006 he said, the only thing George was worried about was that the bloke hadn't been better looking. The money Kenny got from the series of interviews went to the Goes Michael Foundation which is not thought to have any current links to George's estate. Speaking about the charity Kenny said, We use our foundation to help raise money for other charities, we collect money or help charities raise money. One of the things I want everyone to know is addiction is a disease. It's not a choice. 